Welcome back friends as we continue studying about halogen and their compounds. In the previous lecture we studied about fluorine but in this lecture we'll be studying about chlorine. In the last lecture we learned that the halogens are the group 7 elements and the elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and acetine. But today we'll be looking at chlorine. Chlorine is the most important element of all the halogens. Also, chlorine is the second element after fluorine. Chlorine was first isolated by the Swedish scientist Schiele in the year 1774 when he heated some concentrated hydrochloric acid with manganese 4 oxide. The gas was named chlorine in the year 1810 by Davy from the Greek word chlorus, meaning greenish yellow, in the sense that chlorine is a greenish yellow gas. Chlorine being a very reactive gas is not found free in nature but in combined states as chlorides. The most abundant chloride is common salt or sodium chloride which is found both in sea and salt deposits. Now we'll be looking at the laboratory preparation of chlorine. Chlorine is generally prepared in the laboratory by the oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid with a strong oxidizing agent such as manganese 4 oxide, potassium tetraoxomanganese 7 or lead 4 oxide. I'll be talking on the preparation of chlorine by the oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid with manganese 4 oxide as the strong oxidizing agent. The chemist Shelley originally prepared chlorine by this method. That is the method I want to talk on now. The apparatus are set up like this. A round bottom flux is connected to a tissue funnel. The round bottom flux is being suspended by clamping it with a retort stand. A source of heat is brought underneath the round bottom flux. The round bottom flux is also connected to a wash bottle containing water. And this wash bottle containing water is also connected to another wash bottle containing concentrated tetra also surface 6 acid and this wash bottle is also connected to a gas jar covered with a cardboard which is used in connecting the dry chlorine gas. Now manganese 4 oxide is placed in a round bottom flux. Concentrated hydrochloric acid is added gradually into the round bottom flux through the tusu funnel. The mixture of manganese 4 oxide and concentrated hydrochloric acid is heated gently. A greenish yellow gas is evolved. The gas is passed through a wash bottle containing water to dissolve any hydrogen chloride that might be present in the gas. The gas is then dried by concentrated tetra of a 6 acid and the gas is collected by upward displacement of air or by downward delivery in a gas jar and a cardboard is used to cover the gas jar. So the dry chlorine gas is collected by upward displacement of air or by downward delivery. This is the equation for the reaction. The oxidation of hydrochloric acid with a strong oxidizing agent which is manganese 4 oxide that is manganese 4 oxide reacting with hydrochloric acid to give us manganese 2 chloride water and chlorine gas which is our main product. An alternative to this method is that chlorine can be prepared by the eating 
by eating the mixture of sodium chloride, manganese 4 oxide, and tetra ozosulfate 6 acid. Now, the acid first of all reacts with sodium chloride to give hydrogen chloride, which is then oxidized by manganese 4 oxide to liberate our main product, which is chlorine gas. Also, chlorine can be prepared by the oxidation of hydrochloric acid with potassium tetraozomanganese 7 that is potassium tetraozomanganese 7 is used as the oxidizing agent using the same method I've discussed earlier but in this case eating is not involved that is the mixture of concentrated hydrochloric acid and potassium tetraozomanganese 7 is not being eaten it is not involved in this method likewise uh, the gas is evolved and is passed over water to remove any trace or any hydrogen chloride present then it's been dried over concentrated tetraosophysis acid and is also collected collected by upward displacement of air or by downward delivery in the gas jar now <clears throat> we'll be looking at the industrial preparation of chlorine chlorine is prepared or manufactured industrially that is chlorine is prepared on the last scale by the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution brine using the apparatus called ocasel now this is a schematic representation of ocasel Uh, this is the solution, sodium chloride solution that is brine, the electrodes, the anode and the cathode, and uh, the direct current source, the source of the energy, the positive end is connected to the anode and the negative is connected to the cathode. Now what happens here is that when a direct current is passed into the sodium chloride solution the chlorine gas is collected at the anode and the hydrogen gas is collected at the cathode oxidation occurs at the anode and reduction occurs at the cathode don't forget i said chlorine is collected at the anode and the hydrogen gas is collected at the cathode this is the reaction that occurs at the anode two chloride ions to give us chlorine gas reacting with two electrons here we have two moles of water reacting with two electrons to give us hydroxyl ion and the hydrogen gas the, this is the overall reaction sodium chloride reacting with water to give us hydrogen gas and chlorine gas with sodium hydroxyl now the chlorine gas that is being collected is then liquefied and stored under pressure in the steel cylinder very briefly we will talk on the physical properties of chlorine chlorine is a greenish yellow gas with a choking irritating and unpleasant smell another property another physical property of chlorine is that chlorine is denser than air that is it has a higher density than air also it is moderately soluble in water and like i've said under the labor under the industrial preparation of chlorine it can chlorine can be easily liquefied under prayer and stored in steel or iron cylinders also chlorine gas is a very poisonous gas in fact, if in age to a small to a very small extent, it can damage the mucous lining of the lungs. Many thanks for watching this video. See you on the next one and don't forget to subscribe.